Hello. Um, we have been hearing unfortunate news on the sunken vessel for days now. It was only last Saturday when the military divers found the body of one of the 46 missing crew. I'm sure the news have devastated the families of the missing sailors as it has for many other people who were waiting for a last miracle. And today I have summarized the incident of the sunken ship from the time it sank to the current status of the military search operations. So let's take a look. A Korean Navy ship carrying 104 sailors sank off the West Sea on Friday at around 9.20 p.m. Korea time after a mysterious explosion. 58 sailors have been rescued by the Navy forces immediately, but 46 remained missing. Although the military began the search and rescue operations for the missing crew, high waves, fast currents and murky water made the rescue operations next to impossible for several days. Our military forces are doing their best just to find one possible survivor and hopefully all of the missing sailors. When the weather conditions improve, we expect much better results. Once the special rescue vessels arrive, we believe rescue operations will be conducted efficiently. And on Monday, the Navy forces located the rear half of the sunken vessel. Rescue teams found the bow upside down and the stern was discovered at the bottom of the ocean, tilted 90 degrees to the left. Finding the ship's stern raised hope that some of the 46 missing crew may still be alive as they could have been trapped inside a submerged stern. The rescue teams relentlessly searched for any possible survivors. Rescue teams are continuously carrying out rescue missions, but no survivors were found. There was no response from the inside when divers knocked on the rear part of the vessel. But soon the Navy had to announce unfortunate news Tuesday. The 53-year-old Navy warrant officer and veteran of the underwater demolition team Han Juho died after losing consciousness underwater while struggling to reach the submerged vessel. A funeral for Han took place Saturday at a military hospital. Han's death deepened the nation's grief as the search continued for the missing sailors. But stormy weather and high waves have forced the military to halt their search operation, deepening fears among family members who are still hoping for a last miracle. Since time is ticking for those possible survivors, we are also desperate to dive in the water and search for the missing sailors. But the weather is not helping us and we cannot do anything but wait. A fact-finding group consisting of 60 military officials and non-officials has been formed Thursday to help to find out the reason for the ship's sinking. Then another misfortune breaks out on Friday night. The fishing boat Kumnyang that participated a volunteer mission to find the missing sailors sank after crashing into a Cambodian cargo ship. The bodies of two fishermen have been found near the coastal area and the search continues for the remaining seven missing fishermen. And on Saturday, the military divers and rescue teams succeeded in entering the cafeteria of the rear half of the ship. Then the military divers found the body of one of missing crew, Senior Chief Petty Officer Nam Gi Hoon, on Saturday night. Then search and rescue for the missing sailors was called off at the request of the families. We have decided to request that the underwater search operation be called off since we do not want to see another diver's life sacrificed. The mission for the sunken Korean warship Chanan has shifted from rescue to salvage on Sunday. The Navy announced its five-step plan for salvaging the ship. A total of 14 vessels, including a U.S. ship, are participating in salvage operations of the sunken warship in the West Sea. The entire process could take up to a month. There are many factors that could affect the salvage process, so it is difficult to say when it will be completed. With the cause of the explosion in Chonan's stern still unknown, fact-finding teams are working tirelessly to find out what exactly happened. 
but the military officials say they will not get a clear answer until the vessel is completely pulled out of the water. Like you mentioned, Nadia, I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens uh, to the salvaging of the ship until the uh, broken ship is pulled out of water to draw a conclusion as to what may have happened on the night of March 26. Right, uh, and uh, with no answers given, uh, there were many speculations on what caused the ship to sink and, uh, for example, an accidental collision with a reef or submarine mine or an attack from an uh, outside force, including the North Korean Navy. Uh, since the salvage operation is underway, we just have to wait to find out the exact reason. Now, Nettie, have there been any other incidents similar to the recent one in Korea? Yeah. Yes, um, the sinking is one of Korea's worst naval disasters. Uh, a ship sank off the southeast uh, coast in stormy weather in 1974, killing 159 sailors and Coast Guard personnel. And in 1967, 39 sailors were killed by North Korean artillery. All right, Nadi, thank you very much for the overview and update. Keep us posted. Thank you.